Oh my goodness. Why do I have so much Christmas stuff? How did I get so much Christmas stuff? Oh yeah, that's right. Because I absolutely love Christmas. Hi guys, welcome back to Hoarder's Heart. On this episode, we're gonna be doing the Kamari Method on our Christmas decorations part three. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by and checking me out. I'm a hoarder and a recovering one at that. And I show you the messes and I tell you my mental struggles. And we declutter this hoarded house in small sections at a time so I can keep anxiety calm and make good decisions to let things go and make decluttering a positive experience. So it's time to ring some Christmas cheer. It's time to go through more Christmas stuff, see what we can let go of, what we can keep and enjoy, and what sparks joy. So guys, without further ado, let's get started. All right, everyone. So for this episode, what we're gonna do is we're going to pull out all the Christmas ornaments, right? So that's a bin. This is a bin. That's also a bin. We're also going to be pulling out all of this stuff too. This is all of my ribbons and cards and bags and oh my gosh, just so much stuff. And we're going to lay it all out. And I think I might include the kids thing too. Let's just throw it all in there. Let's get all of the kids thing laid out. Whew, just like Marie would like it. All right, everyone, this is just the ornaments right now, okay? <laughs> this is just the Christmas ornaments that go onto the tree. And yes, I would say 70% of the ornaments go on our tree. Yes, our tree is completely full in hoarder style. <laughs> and it does take me a complete day to take all of the ornaments out and to hang them up. It, it definitely takes a long time, but the ornaments are very sentimental to me, extremely sentimental because they represent a, a moment in time. It represents that Christmas, whether it's Christmas 2015 or 2005, you know, but okay, we still got some more work to do. All right, guys, there you have it. Look at all that stuff. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is a lot of stuff, guys. These are my ornaments that are just so precious to me because I have such a sentimental attachment to them because each thing represents a year. Like there's our wedding one where we got married and Paw Patrol when my youngest was little and well, Rainbow Bright. I love Rainbow Bright and my little ponies, right? And it's, whew, this is hard for me because with hoarding disorder, you kind of have an attachment to a lot of things, right? You have a lot of sentimental attachment to a multiple amount of things. Now, when I start the Kamari method, what I'm learning that works best with hoarding disorder is that I have to pick this stuff that doesn't spark joy, right? I know Marie Kondo wants you to pick things that spark joy and hold on to that and be thankful and grateful and then go, you know, declutter the rest. Well, hoarding disorder is the opposite of that, right? Because what's going to happen is I'm going to say this sparks joy and that sparks joy and so does that and so does this. And then all of a sudden my mind's going to go wonky and be like, oh my God, I love everything. I'm not going to be able to declutter it. So what a hoarder has to do is look at it. Well, what doesn't spark joy, right? What doesn't spark joy? That way I can get the momentum going. Like, believe it or not, I found some Christmas cards from a while ago. And I feel like these Christmas cards, I can let them go. These can be the first things that we end up decluttering. And even underneath of this, we can let 
this go. We can let these lights go, right? I got plenty of other lights in my um, Christmas tub, so we can let that go. I don't make cards anymore. I really don't. So we can let this go. And if we come over here, I had noticed when I was putting them out, I have so many Christmas hats, like a ridiculous amount of Christmas hats that honestly, I can let them go. I can let all these Christmas hats go. Moving over here, I can let this go. This can go, we can sell it on Facebook Marketplace. And you know what? I mean, I can let this bow go too. It's probably sat in a bin for 10 years and I never even touched it. All right, everyone, here's where it's gonna get really hard for me in the sense that there's a lot of crafts, right? You guys see all these kids crafts? Well, I was always the room mom for my boys class. And you know, I went crazy with Christmas. They had crafts to make, games to play, and I just loved it. I dressed up like Mrs. Santa Claus. Oh, it was just so wonderful. Oh, go away, COVID. I could have done it this year. <laughs> but no, um, so we made all these crafts and stuff. But some of it I kind of had left over and it just kind of sat here, right? Because I was like, oh, I'll use it for next year. And for the majority, I was able to use it next year for treat bags and stuff like that. But this year, our COVID numbers are really going up. So I'm thinking what's going to happen is that they're going to cancel a lot of things, right? So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let go of some stuff because we have the Operation Christmas child. So like we could totally put this stuff in their bins so we can give that right i'm sure we can make a little craft kit and we can put it in there for them as well so we can let these pieces go there's little odds and ends in there too we can do the same we can donate this we can give this stuff away so this must have been a project that tyler made in 2015 but i i don't know where it's at and we can definitely tossy tossy this out Ah, look, let me show you real quick. See what this is, Tyler's second grade class gift? Look, this was supposed to be used for this year, right? Looks like I could have made some treat bags because I always make the kids treat bags because there's some kids that don't get anything for Christmas and I'm not gonna be able to use it this year. So again, I should probably donate it and um, put some to Operation Christmas Child. That, what is, oh my gosh, 2016. I think the idea that I was going to do was, I was gonna take the charm off and then make something really cute as Christmas gifts. Clearly, I've never done it since 2016. So perhaps it's time to let these go too. Guys, there's just so much stuff like, oh, this is sweet. Oh. And you know what? I, I can let it go. It's, it's okay. We can, oh, that's cute too. Ah. Okay, okay, we can let this stuff go. All right guys, this right here, this is all tossy tossy. We can let that go. Same with this, this Rudolph's nose has seen way better days. This guy, I think this little guy is going to get donated too. I will keep these though. These bring me joy for my kids, like look. Oh, it's just so cute. <laughs> all right, so something that I have a ton of is bows and bags. And just so much of it that there's really no reason to keep all of it. I don't know, it's it's kind of a hard one. It's not that it so much sparks joy, it sparks more practicality in the sense that I could use it. It's not like it can go bad or anything. And that could save me a lot of money from buying bags and stuff like that. But I mean, there's gotta be things that we can let go of. So let's go see really quick. And this bow bin, okay, perfect. See these ribbon? I don't really even like it. Like, so I can definitely let that go. So in here, here are some tags, some gift tags. Here are some more gift tags. <laughs> so I don't have to buy gift tags probably for another couple of years. And of course this bin has a lot of the gift bags and the new ones that we just found, I put them in here. And then there's this one. This one's an older gift bag, like much older, like 10 years old. And and maybe I can keep some of them, but I'm gonna be honest, I'm, I'm, 
Who am I? I'm ready to get rid of the whole bin. I, I'm so honest, except for this Rudolph bag. I, I, I'm feeling a lot of joy from Rudolph bag. <laughs> but the rest of it, I'll salvage a couple bags, but a lot of it, look, it's just even boxes. It's just plain boxes and cards. I don't even like send regular cards anymore. Like we could totally get rid of that. All right, everyone. Last up is the ornaments. And this one by far is the toughest for me because this is so extremely sentimental. My ornaments are like the milestones of our life, right? I always buy an ornament because it represents something at that time each and every year, right? So this is years upon years, decades worth of ornaments. So I'm gonna say they all spark joy, right? But what I have to do is find what isn't sparking joy to me right now. And that way the momentum gets started, which I can see right here. I'm okay with this. We can let this one go. This ornament can go. Same with this one. I mean, uh, it is cute. No, it's okay. This one, we can let go of. This one is okay. Um, ba -ba 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 this snowman. I don't even remember how we even got that snowman. So since there's no attachment to it, it's not sparking joy. This one, we can let go of. All right, this ornament right here, we can let this box set go. There's even a broken one in there, so we'll make sure we throw out the broken one, but we can let go of this one. Same with that one. There's another one that's broken. That stinks, but it's okay. We can let that go. All right, if I come over here, guess what? This is a double of the other one that I let go of, and I don't even know how I got it. So it makes me think that it was kind of like dropped off to me, like, hey, do you want this? You can have it. So we can go ahead and let the second one go. All right, everyone. I'm, I have to be truthful with you guys. I'm feeling so anxious right now. And I feel like I'm not really ready for the ornaments, but I think it's a combination of how extremely sentimental my ornaments are. And the fact that I actually decluttered a lot of stuff. When you see the pile, you're gonna be like, wow, this one is much more of a declutter than last week's. But just know that with hoarding disorder, um, we kind of reach a threshold, right, in one sitting. Since I let go of so much stuff, right, I can feel the anxiety being like, okay, you let go of a lot, you're, you're losing a lot, and it feels like scarcity and loss and lack and all my beautiful things are leaving the house. And it's like this big momentum of anxiety. And that's not what Marie Kondo would want for us. That is not helping us healing our hoarding disorder. So let me clean this up and really show you just how much stuff we got rid of. All right, everyone, there you have it. This is everything that I'm letting go in this Kamari video, including the contents of that bin. This is a lot for me, guys. This is so much stuff. I, I love Christmas. I feel like I am Christmas <laughs> just because of the spirit of giving and everything. And because I have such an emotional attachment to it, this is absolutely monumental for me and healing in my hoarding. This is sentimental to me, right? Now, with a lot of this stuff, what we're going to do is that we're going to give this away, right? This is going to go to other children to make goodie bags for them and bring them cheer. Some stuff is going to get sold. Some stuff is going to be recycled. Some stuff is going to be taken to my work to make it cheerful and Christmassy over there. But for the most part, guys, I am so proud of myself. I did amazing. All right, everyone. We did it. By far, that was the biggest Christmas declutter I have ever done, right? This is huge. This is monumental because sometimes I feel like Buddy the Elf, right? Like I just love Christmas that much. And with that said, I'm here to encourage you that if you struggle with hoarding disorder, we can heal from it. I promise you. I promise you. It has taken me about two years to get to this point where I can do a big like declutter on sentimental things, right? I had to really strengthen my declutter muscles over the years. And I've had such wonderful encouragement from you guys. So I'm here to tell you, we can, 
We can heal in our hoarding. We just have to take our baby steps. Just let go of one thing. That's it, just one thing. And I would cheer you on because I understand that letting go of one thing could have meant 10 mental battles that you had to overcome to let go of that one thing. And if you don't have hoarding disorder and you're just looking for like decluttering inspiration, I really hope this uh, video helped you get inspired to go ahead and get your space back. So guys, I think I'm gonna wrap up this video. And I just wanna say, man, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time, bye. <laughs>